Okay. So, Bezrat Hashem, today we're going to learn the Pirush of the Malbim on the last, on the Pasuk Yud and Bezrat Hashem Yud Aleph, the last two Pesukim of uh, the, the Perek Gimel. So, the Malbim, if you recall, has a, uh, uh, a very Torah Nefesh approach on the uh, experience that Shlomo Amelach was having on a prophecy, right? And how he was able to overcome the Yetzerara, etc. So he says, says to Malvi, he says, what's so special about that experience, spiritual experience, that's prophetic experience. He says it's because that's the, that's the prophecy he will keep until, the, until his downfall, okay? Until the end of his life where eventually he will fall for the pleasure of women and then make bamot, he will make uh, altars to, uh, to worship ta'avot, desire, at the end of his life. There's a Yezo, Yezo, uh, Shlomo Amelach will have a fall down there from the desire of women. Okay. He finished in a fall down. Uh, no, 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 no. That, that he, he didn't finish in a fall down, but yes, the, 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 the big portion of the end of his life was a fall down. But yeah. he recovered before yes. death? He, he, at, at last minute, yes, he recovers. He recovers. So he said, and he says, he says, where. How did he learn to hold on to that experience through the Binyan Betamigdash? If you recall, when is he getting this prophecy? Right after he built the Betamigdash, right? So he says, Akadosh who built the Betamigdash in a way that we can reflect to and internalize it in our own build up of as a human. And he says the following. He says, Apirion, Apirion, and we know, we know what that means, okay, is parallel to the Beta Migdash. Okay, Apirion, so that means that Shlomo Meller built his own compound, his own uh, <coughs> ecosystem, his own ecosystem, in order for the Shekhinah to reside within him, right? Like the Bet Hamikdash represents. As Salo Melech Shelomo, he says here we don't say Melech. We say Melech Shelomo. Say the Melech normally is the Yetzerara and the imagination. That's the Yetzer, like Amelech Aksil that we spoke about in Kohelet, if you remember, the old king. Me'atzeh al-Levanon. What does he mean, Me'atzeh al-Levanon? He says, here Shalom Amelech addresses the, uh, the, uh, the hardest element, okay? strongest element in, uh, in vegetation, okay? And, he, and, and, he, and then he says, and there, there was a buildup, Amudav, the Amudim, and we will see what that represents. He made out of silver, the back he made out of gold, the, the, the right? Uh, and the, uh, and the, the Tikra, and the top, he made out of uh, this, uh, this cloth of Argaman. And like we said, the, the, the toho and inside was filled with uh, love, toho ratsuf aavami benot Yerushalayim from benot Yerushalayim. Okay. So first, he says, in order to understand what Shlomo is really trying to teach us, which is the buildup of a person and the sustainability of a relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu for a long time. He said, we need to go back 
and understand how the nefesh is built. So we know that we have the nefesh, ruach, neshama, haya yechida, right? So he says, first we have the domain. The domain is, okay. In men, you have nefesh, nefesh, ruach, neshama, haya yechida. In nature, you have domain, which means rocks, minerals, vegetation, animals, human, right? He says, the, the, which one is the, the less sophisticated is the mineral. Then a, a more sophisticated version, vegetation. A more sophisticated version, animals, and a more sophisticated version, humans. Okay. He says, when you look at the Bet HaMikdash and you look at the Korbanot, the offerings, we have the animal, we have the plants that we throw on the Bet on the thing. We have the salt. So here we have mineral salt, Vegetation, the, the, the ketoret, animal high, the, which is the animal. And then you have the actual man that does the korban and the one it's done for, which is you. So in the, in the korban, you have all four elements. And these four elements need to, to come together in order for the fire to go up to Akadosh the, 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 the the smoke of the Korban to go up to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, for this to appease, okay? The whatever needs to be appeased in the actions of man, right? And this brings Shalom between man and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, right? So says the Malbim, what do we learn from the Bet HaMikdash? If Apirion is compared to the Bet HaMikdash, that means that in order to have Shalom in the Bet HaMikdash, you needed to bring Korban out. That means that you need to have an alignment between your minerals, your vegetative aspect, your animalistic aspect, your human aspect, all together, right? Aligned and in all smallness with a specific purpose in order to be able to create shalom between you and Akadosh Baruch Hu. Right? Right. And what would the aspects be rock, minerals, and vegetative inside uh, the person. Oh, oh, very good. So now we're going to dive into the Nefesh Adam. Okay? Because he says, he says, let's not forget that although you have minerals, vegetation, animal, human, you have Nefesh Israel, which is the fifth one. Okay? So he says, if you look, so now he says, now let's let's go inside and it gets very technical. Oh. And, and he's okay. So he says the 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 Melech Shelomo, right? A Melech Shelomo, who are we talking about right now? We're talking about the, the harmony and the unity there is between the Melech and Shalomo. So it's the Melech Shea Shalom, Shalom, if you recall in the beginning of, of, of uh, Shea Shalom. Okay? So it says it's a, it's a perfect harmony between the body and the Neshama. That's a Melech Shalomo. A Pirion Asalo a Melech Shalomo. He created an ecosystem, an environment where a Melech Shalomo can exist. And how did he do that? So how did he create the Hamelech Shelomo, this coexistence, this osmosis between the Melech and the Shelomo, between the, the body and the Neshama? Apirion Asalo. So he said, he said he did it in order but for the Neshama, what is Apirion? It's like, it's, 
it's a way for the body and the Yetzerara to be under the control and influence of the Sechel Ayuni, right? If you, in, uh, of the Neshama. Okay? That's the Apirion. Apirion represents what? It represents the spiritual bond between a, an, an individual and a Kadosh Baruch Hu. So that means that he took Hamelech, made it Hamelech Shelomo into an ecosystem that is fully spiritual and controlled by the Neshama. And what did he made it with? He made it from Me'atze HaLevanon. So he had to consolidate the vegetative aspect, the etzim. He made it Me'atze HaLevanon in order, in order for this appearance, for this ecosystem to be Strong. He didn't make it out of flesh. He didn't make it out of bone. He didn't make it out of emotions. He didn't make it also out of minerals. He made it from the veg the strongest vegetative uh, element that we have, which is the 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 trees of Lebanon. <clears throat> and he, and so that's okay. So what does and what? We're, we're going to get to the to the vegetative aspect and what it represents. So he says, Amudav. Amudav asa He says, Amudav, the Amudim, right, represents in the Nefesh, Ha'adam, it represents the vegetative aspect of it. Okay, what does it mean? The, uh, the vegetative, if, uh, if you recall in the shoe of the Rambam, right? The you know, uh, the digestive system, uh, the, 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 the spiritual koach that sits in vegetation that allows a tree, an, an animal or a man to grow and perish. That is, that is the first madriga. And that is Amudav, the Amudim. Uh, sorry, that, that is Mechila. That is Me'atzal Ibn, right? Let me take a step back. That's Me'atzal Ibn. Now, now he says the following. He says, the Nefesh Ativit, the Nefesh, the, 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 the vegetative aspect of the Nefesh, Sits because it's very uh, it's very technical. He says it's it goes from the stomach down. That's where the nefesh atzomachat lives. That's why we have the digesting system, etc. The stomach. So it's right here, here down. That's what rep reproduction, uh, flush out, digesting all happens from here down. Right, the 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 the, 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 the liver. Kidneys, right? All these, all the, the cleaning, it's right up in there. He says, this is where the, the nefesh at Somachat sits. This is where the vegetative nefesh resides. Then you have the nefesh at then, the, then you have the ruach. The ruach, he says, sits in the heart, this portion. Okay? It's the lungs and the heart. That's where that's what the, what the ruach is about, right? That's where the emotions are. That's where the breathing comes from. That's where the expression comes from. It comes from that portion of the body. That's the nefesh ahiyunit. That's the that's the ruach. Then you have the neshama. The neshama sits in the head, right? Sits in the head. That's the nefesh amaskele. Now he says there are. These three, the, after that is the buildup of a human. We have another two layers. One that is through the connection of the Torah and mitzvot, which is called the Haya. And he calls it the Nefesh Elohit, right? 
the divine soul, Nefesh, And then he says, this is the Haya. And then you have the Yehida, which is the, 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 the reflection of the perfect unity all of those elements have with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So, so by eating properly and taking care of your body, you take care of your vegetative nefesh. By being emotionally stable and being communicative and being sensitive and midot, etc., right? You control your ruah, right? Your animalistic nefesh. By being intellectual, you develop and control your neshama or your intellect, intellectual nefesh. By doing mitzvot to ma'asim tovim, you enhance your haya. And by being all, by taking all of this. And being one with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you tap into your Yehida. So, good? Good. Okay. Now he says, let's take all this and create a parallelism between men build out and the Beta Migdash in order to understand how Shlomo Melech used the Beta Migdash, the Apirion, and created an ecosystem protecting him, his, his connection with Akadosh Baruch. Because if you can understand if the parallelism there is between the Beta Migdash and human, then you understand which one is more Kadosh than the other and what each part or each part's role plays in the equation when you want to build or you want to build yourself or get to Yehida. Good? So he says the Ohel Mo'ed, the Ohel, okay? The, the, the Chatser, the Ulam, of the Beta Migdash represents the Nefesh Atirit, represents the vegetative aspect, which means what? And this is, this is Amudav, Asa Chesef. And this is the stomach, the digesting system, the reproduction system. And he explained, and he says, this is where, this is where you clean all the animals. This is where also you throw the dust of the, you know, when you burn the betamik, does you have to clean all the dust? This is where it used to go. So, the, and this is this this is very very clear because it represents you know all the 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 dirty and the inner avoda of the animals of the beta, of the korbanot. This is the right the the nefesh ativait the vegetative nefesh that includes the, the digesting system that etc etc. Cetera, et cetera. And he says, this is Amudah Vasa Chesed. It's very important. It's very important. Okay? But they're made of Kesef. They're not made out of gold. Meaning it's a, the, 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 the Kesef 
purpose, meaning you, 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 your parnasa and your the the silver or the okay the parnasa should be a parnasa that, uh, what you use the parnasa for should be to keep your body not bizarre right to 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 stay healthy to the home the the the, the, the food that you eat etc. Then he says, the echal, right? Now we, we're, we, we enter the echal, which is inside, more in the inner portion of the Bet Amikdash. Echal. He says it is the, represents the nefesh achiyunit. It represents the emotions. It represents the, the, the ruach. And this, this is why inside the inside the Echal, we had the Mizbeach HaKetoret. We did the Ketoret, which is what we smell, right? The lungs, this is what we smell. This is what we breathe. This, the, yeah, the Neshama enjoys it. Right? The ne, it's, it's, it's very, it's a lot of pleasure. And that's against the heart. They get the heart, we get the emotions, we get the, 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 the breathing, right? The smell, the breathing, that's, that's inside there. And this, he says also you have there the menorah. The menorah. The menorah. Says it represents the reot. The menorah is against the 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 the, the, the lungs, and he goes into uh, the the structure of the lungs and the seven canot, uh, uh, which you know we have we have a cane, right? We have uh, the tube, the tubes, right? He says there are the, to, the, to the lungs there are seven tubes. Seven portion of tubes representing the seven the seven uh, uh, cane of of the menorah. Wow, oh, didn't know that. And that and the, the and that's the ruach haim that the light brings brings pleasure to a person brings satisfaction and this is like just like the menorah brings the light also also the it's it, that's what gives <sighs> makes you breathe right space light it, it, it's it's the ruach it it taps into the emotion and the midot of a person. And this is refidato zahav. This is refidato zahav. This is the back is made out of gold. Already, already the chashivut, the importance of the emotions of the midot, of the, the, the emotional satisfaction and pleasure, right? becomes more valuable to a man than his body. And we see how instinctively people do that, right? They can they give more importance to their well-being and emotions and everything than, than to their body. For sure that it's important to keep the body. Yeah, but the emotion has a, an emotion, the pleasures, the, the values are more precious and to a man than the actual body. And that's the fit And then he says, and then you have the Kodesh HaKodashim, and that is Merkavo Argaman. That's the parochet, you know? That's the parochet inside the Bet Amikdash that gets you into, inside the Kodesh HaKodashi, right? And he says, this is the Nefesh HaMaskele. This is Chokhmah. This is wisdom. This is intellect. Good? 
And already the intellect is what? It's inside, it's internal, it's private, it's so special that not anybody can go in. The intellect of a person needs to be so private and so hashub, right? That you cannot let anyone poison your, 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 your mind with information. You have to be very selective. You have to be very careful with the way you think, with what you expose yourself to. Not any Kohen can even get in. Education, education, information. A lot of information is great, but not every, every information is valuable. It, every information is valuable, but not every information is good to the, the, the person. Sometimes certain things you don't want to be exposed to, you don't want to know. So it has. This is, yeah. It's why we, why Chachamim uh, don't let uh, kids be, because you don't know what would be the outcome of what gets inside the intellect. You never know because it's a word that is too complicated. Exactly. Now, don't forget that the intellect includes also the, what you do with images, right? It's the three layers of the sechel, sechel ha-maasi, and sechel yuni right? Like we speak in the Joshua Prakim Le'aramba, the practical mind, the philosophical mind, and the analytical mind. That's the Kodesh HaKodashim. So now you have the, we spoke about the vegetative nefesh, the ruach, which is the animalistic nefesh, right? Which represents the emotions, the ruach. And then we talk about the neshama, which represents the intellect. He says, what do you have inside the Kodesh HaKodashim? You have the Kevurim, right? One is for the Haya, and the other one is for the Yehida. And what resides between the two, what happens between the two, is the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We know that Moshe Rabbeinu used to be spoken to from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the voice of HaKadosh Baruch Hu used to come out, used to come out ben keruvim, between the two Keruvim, right? So one Keruv represents Torah, Mitzvot, Ma'asim, Torim, and the other Keruv represents Achdut, you, the power to unify everything, all of the Betamidash, in order to be one with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, right? If the things are not aligned, what happens? The Kerubim don't look at each other. There's a disconnect between the Hayyan and the Yehida. If you remember, in Fundamentals of Emuna, how did we give the definition of the Haya, the link between the Nefesh Wah and Shabbat to the Yehida, which is its source, right? So if the link is disconnect, if they're not, if, if the link is not in touch with the, 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 the Yehida, then nothing happens, right? So it's only once you're able to have perfect achdut, unity with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that the Kerubim look at each other and, and, uh, and the, the, and, uh, the Shekhinah comes down. Oh. And he says, this is, now, let's go back to the Pasuk. It says, Amudav Nefesh Ativit, the vegetative Nefesh Asa Chesef. This is what you use your Parnassah with. This is what you, it's important. It's very important. Kesef is very important, right? However, and it says Amudah. Amudah, meaning the Amudim, what holds you and what carries you and what stands you know, strong is the amudim, the pillars, right? The posts. Those posts must be made out of kesef. This is your body. Your body is the post. Is what, what, what holds on everything else. How, ah, you might think it should be made out of gold. No, 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 no. Only kesef. Repidato. Repidato, it's the back, the yesod, the foundation, right? Zahab. That's already the emotions. The emotions to you have to be like Zab, your Midot. Midot are very, very important. It's what you keep close, what you value. You look a person, he could be the most good looking guy, the healthiest guy, and the strongest guy. He has Bam Midot, you don't want to be around the guy, right? Tov, Bishem and Tov. That's right, that's right, that's right. This is so the value of the Refidado, of the Yesudot, of the Midot. 
That's the ruach. That we, have, we spoke about the nefesh, the ruach, right? Zahav. Neshama, merkavo. That's the Kodesh HaKodashim. Right? That's the Neshama. That's the Seche, the intellect. Argaman. Mapshat Argaman. It means, Argaman means this is something you have to keep very, very insulated. You have to be very careful. Like the Kodesh HaKodashim. Not everybody can come in. And how is Kodesh HaKodashim protected? Not by layers and layers and layers of, 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 of concrete. By the Parochet. <laughs> That's all it takes. It's a mechitza that is very flexible, but if you cross it, you can die. A, a coin goes inside the Kodesh Hakodashim, he dies. The coin got all goes inside the Kodesh Hakodashim, and he has a bad thought, he dies. The, the, the Merkavo, the seat where you belong and where you build yourself and where you find your comfort and your identity and your presence. The seat that you sit on, the yeshiva, is argama, is the is the the chokhmah, marbe yeshiva, marbe chokhmah. That's where you get all your intellect, and this is kodesh kodesh. This is the most important and the most sacred aspect of your of your essence. And to that, extremely selective, who, which kohen gadol you, you let in, which teacher you let in, which representative you let in, which information you let in. And once you let it in, toho ratsuf ahava, the inside of a Kodesh Kodashim is made out of love. From who? Mi benot Yerushalayim. Mi benot Yerushalayim. Benot Yerushalayim is, if you will, the two, the benot, but is one, benot is two, the keruvim. Right? It's, the keruvim are two kids, one boy, one girl. Benot Yerushalayim, Abshad here, from the, the Chaya, and that's where the Chaya and the Yechida are, when they are Yerushalayim, when they're complete, when they are one. When they are one, then you have the Ahava, which is the the, what is Ahava? Ahava Gematria Ehad, right? It's the Gematria one. It's when the unity happens between Benot Yerushalayim and bringing everything together. Now the pipeline is fully aligned, open for the Shekhinah to come down, right? Main Nechurim and Main Nukvin, right? That's the perfect flow. And now yeah. we have. Yeah, it's another issue, but uh, not to forget, the uh, rabbi gave a speech, a shiur, and he said, in Bereshit, it says, Bechokhmato, and this Bechokhma, and he spoke about uh, the Ma, and uh, I was happy, <laughs> I could understand it. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> ah, and now he says, and now the Melech Shelomo can sit on that apirion. So this is a Melech Shalomo, the definition of a Melech Shalomo, which represents the, the control of the Neshama over the body, right? But not only the Neshama, and, and the, the, the connection the Neshama has with the Chayan Yechida, to have the Ahavat Hashem and sit in this Apirion, he needed the Apirion for Melech Shalomo to sit in it. You understand? Meaning, Melech Shalomo is one thing. But that's very momentary. If you have an apirion, then the Melech Shemot sits on it and resides in it. This is the true connection for the long time. This is the secret Shalomo Melech used in order to hold on as long as possible to that connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Safe. Hmm? They are sitting there, he's safe. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is the, that was the secret. And where did he find it? He found it, he learned it from the Bet Kodesh HaKodashi, from the, from the Bet HaMikdash. He says that if I, the way HaKadosh Baruch built the Bet HaMikdash is for him to reside in the physical world forever, right? That means that if I emulate the Bet HaMikdash in my essence, then Hashem will reside within me also for a very long time. So he started giving proper an attention, Amudab. His body became Amudim. 
However, the re how, how important? Kesef. Repidato, right? Emotions, midot tovot, zahar, merkavo, intellect, argaman, kodesh kodashi. Ratsu tocho ratsuf, and the inside, ratsuf ahava mi benot Yerushalayim. This is the connection with Hayay Yechida. And this is how he was able to control, to control what? The Atzea Levanon. The Atzea Levanon, which is the domain, right? The domain, it's the Atzea Levanon is, uh, it's, yes, it's made from the vegetative, but it's dead, right? There's no, there's no, there's no life to it. There's no life to it. So here you find, again, you find the soul, you, you find the, 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 the domain, you find the vegetative, right? Which is the plants in the body. Let me echo. You find the haya, you find, sorry, you find the nefesh, nefesh ahiyunit, which is the emotions and the animalistic aspect. You find the intellect, and you find Nefesh Israel Haya Yehida. Right? So, if you will, there's only four, there's only three that you have control over because the Keruvim are byproduct of the other three. But, but you have in, in the indirect control, depending on your absolutely. actions. Absolutely, 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 exactly, exactly. And this is why, this is why, if you look, the 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 Apirion doesn't have an element, a practical element in the Haya or the Yehida. It doesn't. It just says Toho Ratzuf Ahava mi Benot Yerushalayim. Ahava, Ahava is what is. You cannot determine. You cannot identify it. Ahava is love. Is an emotion. Is is a feeling, right? So the, the Apirion is really made from Amudav, from Repidatoza, from Kesef, Zahav, Argaman, and Atzea Levanon. Domem, Hai, Domem, Tzomea, Hai, Medaber. And what was the outcome of it? What was this beautiful outcome of it? He says, Se'ena, go out. Go out. This is how the influence of the Yetzerara that's inside, the influence of the body, the influence of the emotions that are inside controlling you, Tseena, go out. Ur-ena. And do we say that to Benot Sion, not Benot Yerushalayim, right? Now he's talking to Benot Sion. Benot Sion is, Sion is what? This is the body. This is a structure. This is what protects. This is the body that surrounds and protects Yerushalayim. It's the body that protects the, the Neshama. Benotzion, the body. Tzena, Urena, go out. Urena, and see, and look up to, and respect. Right? Look up to or en a benotian, you the body and the nep the nepesh and the ruach. Who are you looking at? The melech shelomo, to the melech she shalom shelom, to the, the the perfect harmony of the neshama and the control of this of the neshama over everything. He says, there's something phenomenal. He says, who is Imo? Imo is the root, the root of the Yetzerara, the mekor, the, the, the essence, the core essence where the Yetzerara is born. How do we know that? Because who's the M? Who's the Ima of all, of all, of all humanity? Ima, it's a uh, mother of all humanity. Uh, uh, Hava. Oh. Hava. Right? And she is the one that connected to the Yetzerara. She brought Yetzerara to the world. 
with 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 the nachash. So he says, he says, ba atara she iteralo imo. When you do that, the root of your yetserara, the root, the ima, will give you atara, will praise you, will support you, and that's the atara. That's the crown. That's not. It's not a superficial overcome. It's not like you have a yetserara and you're overcoming. No, 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 no. Now it's the root of your yetserara that's bowing and praising and giving you the atara, giving you the crown, giving you the the power of ruling. But the Yitzhara will praise you after 120, not during life. No, no. He, that, that's the Ma'ala. The Ma'ala is that you're able to get to a point where the, yetzera, the, the root of the Yitzhara lets the Neshama rule over. This is, it wow. gives, this is it gives you the crown. David Amelech. Okay. This is the ultimate price. Huh? That, that's, the the ultimate. that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate. That's the and ultimate. Root, not not total or all the Yitzhara. I'm sorry? It says the root of the Yitzhara yes, or? Yes. The root of it, the root of it. Meaning that you, you're, you're now having the Sechel take over and be let, be, be, be allowed to rule by the Yitzhara. That means the body become completely submissive. The, the body want, at that point lets the Neshama follow. When you're able to overcome a Yitzhara, and you control it when you do teshuva on one thing to such a high level. Okay, you know, I, I give this example. I, I have a friend, a friend who, uh, who wasn't eating kosher. He did teshuva, Baruch Hashem, Big Bal it was fantastic. And he used to, he, he tells me all the time, he said, every time he, see shri, he sees shrimps, it eats him alive inside. He loved shrimps. It's like, this is the one thing I, 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 can, I regret is the shrimps. I don't know. I don't know. So, this is this is this is a trua that's a beautiful trua, but the root of the yetzer is still there. If you're able to or do a teshuva where the shrimp ugh, it means nothing to me, that's the root allowing. That's the body being submissive and allowing. Get disgusted when you see a shrimp. Yeah, disgusted or yeah, disgusted. Yeah, what what what. It doesn't, it doesn't move you whatsoever. Finish. Finish. That, that's the pshat. Okay. And this is the, what is the atara? The atara is the crown, right? Where is the crown sitting? On the head. And what does the head represent? The second, right? As we said, is the second. Is when the, the ima, okay, is when the ima now is when the ima now gives the atara gives gives the control to the to the intellect to the second. Beyom hatunato when things are unified and one, right? That's the hatuna. Is when things become one, when the the, ne the neshama and the body become one, beyond hatunato, right? The root of the yetzer, the root of the, of the influence of the, the body gives the ruling, it's ruling over to whom? To the, to the neshama, to the sechel. Puts the crown on the head. This is the ruler now. Ubeyom simhat libo. They're happy. Said they both are happy. Ah. They both are happy. They're in equilibrium. Correct. 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 So wh what what is the Malbim coming to teach us here? He's telling us how Shlomo Amelech built himself. And the 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 the, 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 the relationship he had within himself with himself. How he treated his body, how he treated his emotions, how he treated his intellect, how he treated the relationship with Akadosh Baruch Hu. And by, because it's one thing to do all the mitzvot and it's one thing to do the right thing. But if you don't put it in perspective and you don't have priorities and, 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 uh, and hierarchy, you can, you can set yourself for failure, right? If you're not re regimented, 
properly intellectually, then you might do a lot of the other things right. But uh, yeah. Any anyway is not to 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 do the shana of Shalom Amelech, but it it I would like to understand how after all this chokmah he ended up in, in the finding it's like mind boggling. We're gonna see it. We're gonna, no, that's that's because I tell you what. That's because no madriga is ever acquired. It's not because you're at a level that means that's it, you reached it. It's not like you go to from uh, grade two to grade three, finish, you never go back to grade two. That's very different. It's very different. And that's number one. Number two, you see how powerful the desire of women can be. It's, it's the most. It, it will be top one. Yeah. So so it's 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 showing us that even <laughs> Even a gibor echayil like Shlomo Amelech, okay, can fall, can fall, can fall, can fall. It, if you put things back in perspective, it just shows you how far you have to be, you have to get away from this, you know, from every, from every possible layer. Um, like it's, it's, it's like fire, you know, it's like fire, fire, it's like fire. It's a big warning, I think, that he left also to, to people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at a man like me and look at that, like even that can take me down. Yeah. Imagine the street. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so from a, from a, it's a very interesting because from a different perspective, you know, basically what, what the Malbim teaches us is that Shomar Meler built himself from the Beta Migdash. That means we are Beta Migdash Katan. We are Beta Migdash Katan. And we have to be careful the way we respect the Beta Migdash. Right? So it's it's almost like it's like we're the guardian of the Beta Migdash. We are the guardian of the Kodesh HaKodashim. We are the guardian of the Kerubi. We are the guardian of the Menorah. And it's our obligation. This is the purpose. Okay, what's my purpose in life? To guard the Beta Migdash. Shomer Torah Mitzvot. Shomer. I am a Shomer. I need to be. I, I guard the Beit Hamikdash. Every one of us is a is a is a Beit Hamikdash. Now you can understand also why we are so anti and so um, strict about TV, about movies, about uh, internet. Uh, you know, people don't say, ah, it's rabbis, they're so radical. No, but if you understand, because according to the Torah, the brain is Kodesh HaKodashim. It's Kodesh HaKodashim. That's where the Aaron Aberit is. So how can you let Zar and a Kodesh, how can you let a Goy enter the Kodesh HaKodashim? It's not possible. I think everyone agrees that that is the best, but it's, the society cannot stop. Nahon. Hey, in the family, one guy in the country club told me, uh, I bought uh, the devil for my son. I said, what? Yeah, I bought PlayStation because uh, I want to, I prefer him to be at home than in, I, I hear that and say to my wife, like, they want to change and, and, uh, yeah. and I'm, you know, I, I mean. We're all to be blamed, but it's, it's, it's coming. No, it, it, if, if, if you understand that, then you also understand the Gedole Olam. And, and what's important, the big message that's important is to keep an outlook perspective of yourself and start calibrating the proper approach and, and relationship within yourself, with the different parts of yourself. We finished. The third oh. thing. <laughs> Spectacular. Spectacular. Baruch Hashem. Excellent. We continue. Baruch Hashem. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.